प्लीज पॉज दिस वीडियो राइट नाउ एंड प्रैक्टिस दीज वर्ड्स बिफोर यू स्टार्ट डिक्टेशन ऑफ द न्यू एक्सरसाइज बी रेडी फॉर द डिक्टेशन फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट मिस्टर स्पीकर सर आई एम ग्रेटफुल टू यू फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन अ वेरी रियलिस्टिक बजट प्रजेंटेड इन पार्लियामेंट आई एम श्योर द पीपल ऑफ गुजरात आर गोइंग टू ज्वाइन मी इन कॉन्ग्रेचुलेटिंग द गवर्नमेंट फॉर सेंग दैम फ्रॉम ए हाई डोज ऑफ टैक्सेशन एज वॉज प्रपोज बाई द प्रीवियस गवर्नमेंट इन द स्टेट सर आई टेक दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ मैंशनिंग a few thing more which i would not probably have been able to do as these are the state subjects before the state government gave up power the central government has of course not imposed the president's rule but we are under the government under the governor these days hence the state's budget was presented sir i do not know whether it has been an oversight by the administration today or whether they have carried on what the previous government had mentioned i would like to be very specific here in mentioning about the sales tax that they have imposed on all fish and marine products in gujarat i do not understand the logic behind it as far as gujarat is concerned we have bigger cost line than any other state in india our maritime resources have not been exploited fully our fishery industry has still not reached the stage which could be compared with even the backward states of this country who are also maritime states there are other states like kerala where the fishery industry has developed long ago and it has come to the take off stage where from the inshore fishing they have now gone to offshore fishing even in those states where 50% of marine products are exported they do not have sales tax on fishing and marine products products para the gujarat government expects a revenue of about rupees 40 lakhs to rupees 50 lakhs by way of sales tax i am sure that they are going to ask you also that these taxes should be imposed on the traders and on the fishermen and not on industries we know that whenever such a tax is imposed it goes down to the fishermen the fishermen in gujarat are poor we recently had an example of the export duty levied on all wool that was exported there too gujarat was affected the argument given at that time was that this export duty was expected there too gujarat was affected as such